a big gap up in, on day one and it's really weak and it just breaks down and all the people that longed it from like newsletters and stuff, they're just selling all day. Okay. So I made about 56,000 that day. What's up, Tim Sykes here with Jack Two. Yes. <laughs> How does it feel to be Jack Two instead of Jack One? Because Jack Kellogg, he's made over $8 million, mm -hmm. he claimed. He put a little flag in the name Jack. <laughs> You've now made two million, but you're Jack Two. How mm -hmm. does that feel? Uh, it feels like second place. <laughs> Do you want to beat Jack Kellogg? If you if you overtake him in trading profits, I think that it would be okay if it would be the community's decision to yeah, overtake I, him and beat so. Jack One. I think so. Then he would go back and forth, then he would get ultra competitive. <laughs> have you ever, you've never met him, have you? Mm. The Jacks have never met. Talk almost every day, though. Really? Yeah. That's good. How's he doing? He's doing well. Yeah. Are you guys competitive with each other? Does he, does he call you Jack Two? <laughs> is he like, good uh, morning, Jack Two? Dot, dot, <laughs> dot. Two? I think you will now. <laughs> really? I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's talk about your, your journey because, mm -hmm. you know, we've done other videos. Click the links below. You can learn more about his, you know, crazy run up. You made pretty much nothing for three years. You mm -hmm. stuck with it. You were right place, right time. You had learned from your losses before. You had mm -hmm. learned from your success. And that way you were able to scale up and capitalize $2 million mm -hmm. now. What was your best trade? Uh, what's been your best trade so far? Man, my best trade was probably BTX. Okay. BTX. What happened? Um, so it was my initial like favorite pattern, which is just like a, a big gap up in, on day one. And it's really weak and it just breaks down. And all the people that longed it from like newsletters and stuff, they're just selling all day. Okay. So I made about 56,000 that day. Okay. Cut it all on life too. Nice. Cool. I think it ran in early May. Okay. Last year. So like a year or, ago. No, no, no. A month ago. Oh, really? Yeah. This is your best trade a month ago? Oh yeah, because then I longed it on like a Friday night okay. at like 9.6 because this is why I always say, keep uh, big percent gainers in your watch list for multiple days because okay. like a week later, it was beginning to set up like a big breakout. Okay. So I longed it a bunch and then I was selling in the rips and then buying dips. Okay. And then I made about another 100,000 on that. So you shorted it at first mm -hmm. on the one day run because yeah. it got ahead of itself. Perfect pattern. And then you have it fading on camera. So mm -hmm. that's your short trade. Yeah. 56K mm -hmm. over About. the course of like an hour? Uh, Yeah, a few Something hours. Like that. All right, cool. Then what was it? The next day you bought it? Uh, Like next week. Next week. Yeah. And then what did it bounce from? Um, That's when I bought it like 9.5 or even 10. Okay. And then I was swinging it for multiple days and selling a bunch in the 20s and then the 30s. I think that's when I was done with Damn, it. Damn, man. And then it went all the way to like 60. And then that's where I had a really big loss on the short side because oh, it, was, it was a great potential short, but it just had one last like squeeze out yeah. it that pushed me out. And that was like a one twenty thousand dollars loss. Okay. But then the next day I made about 220000 on it nice. shorting. But there is that, sometimes that one yeah. last one did you ever mm -hmm. see the movie Pacific Rim? Mm -hmm. It's not a good movie. Don't watch it. But <laughs> in Pacific Rim, the monster is going down. One of the main characters is like, see how easy that was? Mm -hmm. And then the monster has one last thing and kills yeah. this guy. There's and always I always, last I always think it, there's not always, but sometimes <laughs> there can be. Like even when you think the battle yeah. is won, you can't get too cocky. Yeah. And you can't be like, ah, oh, it's, it's over. It's not over until it's actually over. Mm -hmm. So be careful with that. Oh, yeah. But overall on that, how much did you make? Uh, with six, all the trades, hundred, another hundred. I would say about two fifty, three hundred thousand net profit. Crazy. I think I was even swinging it in another. This was account. a month ago, <laughs> a month or a month, two months ago, a month ago. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> that was cool. Dude, was that like your whole month? That was like the best trade of the month. Uh, yeah, I think May was actually really quiet. I yeah. Believe. yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you feel after you did this? <laughs> yeah, did you feel like that, or were you like? Whoosh, whoosh, Oh yeah, whenever like I get the big breakdown. Yeah. Just like <laughs> What do you do to celebrate? Uh I didn't really celebrate that one actually. Why? <laughs> Why did you not celebrate? I don't know, because uh you can lose money just as easily as you make it. And just because you make money doesn't mean you're going to be keeping it. Although I do plan to. <laughs> can you celebrate a little bit? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, <laughs> using your logic where, yes, you can lose money after you make money. I like mm -hmm. the staying humble. But when you win, you got to, like, mark it. you got to be like, let's yeah, do this. True. Go crazy one night. 
you know? Well, I think I posted a couple tweets about BTX on Twitter. Okay. Yeah. So that's how you celebrate. You post on Twitter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone celebrates differently. Click below. Join the challenge, okay? Get in this humble group of people. But leave a comment below. How would you celebrate after of a quarter of a million dollar profit? Give this guy some ideas, okay? I think you just need ideas, right? Mm -hmm. Like once upon a time, I made $100,000 in one day as a college freshman, took mm -hmm. my whole dorm out to dinner. That's how I celebrated, oh, yeah. right? That was fantastic. How would you celebrate if you made, how long did it take you? Like a week or two? Um, Man, the whole trade with every single one it was yeah. about two weeks maybe three if you make six figures in a day in a week in two weeks in three weeks whatever but on one mm -hmm. trade one setup you make a big money uh return not necessarily even six figures could be five mm -hmm. figures everyone has different account sizes but how would you celebrate i'm curious to read the comments and see what they think because <laughs> i think people are going to give you some ideas on how to celebrate Okay, I'll you definitely know? read those right I'm curious you need some ideas yeah. you need some celebration inspiration right mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta celebrate. What did you do? Like when you crossed a million dollars with your parents, you told them, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do to celebrate? Um, did your parents pop yeah. open a bottle of champagne? My mom made me like Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I love Rice Krispie treats. So good. That's delicious. So good. Did she put like little M&Ms in them too? Or did she actually delicious? put the profit chart on it? <laughs> oh, you have a picture of this? <laughs> she does. Yes! She does. Get me that picture. Pascal, <laughs> remind him. We're going to get a picture of your profit chart in the Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> That's actually going to be pretty amazing. Are you serious? Oh, yeah, dead serious. How do you do that? Like, what? She no, she whole... just, like, printed off paper and threw it on Oh, her. okay. I was going to say, I was like, what is she, like, using, like, icing to, like, <laughs> oh, you got a little consolidation dip there. Like, I'm picturing, like, the icing guy oh, or all something. Out of, all of icing. Pascal's huh? wife cooks, so I was like, yo, she should do that, too. Let's do this with, like, the, the profit. She put a piece of paper over the Rice Krispie Treats. Mm -hmm. And then she took the paper off, and then you ate the Rice Krispie oh, Treats. Oh, yeah. How many did you have? Uh, Just, like, two. It's great. You can't it's even great. celebrate. It's great. <laughs> I had two for a snack. <laughs> You're eating cake with your hands yesterday. <laughs> I was eating cake with my hands. This is what I do. And I had some. It's in the fridge, too. I had some for breakfast today, too. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, okay. Thank you for, for sharing everything. You know, like, he doesn't have to share this stuff. A lot of people who make a lot of money mm -hmm. are just like, shut up. I'm just going to keep yeah. making the money. You don't want to help people. But why do you want to help people? Uh, if it wasn't for, like, very few people that were helping me in the beginning, I would never have been close to where I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So paying it and, forward, yeah. teaching it forward, that's the future. It's not just yeah. about how much money you can make, it's how many people can you help. Anyways, mm -hmm. leave comments below, let him know how he should celebrate. I don't need any ideas, I celebrate too often. <laughs>